What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another video for you today. Now, this particular video is going to show you how to more or less make a magic spot for your outfits. This will make a spot that will allow you to transfer over any belt. So, if you want to put racing belt, um, gun belt, paramedic belt, whichever, and your logos as well, so the racing suit logos, to transfer over to any of your existing outfits. So kind of like, like I said, a magic slot for outfits. So in Save Wizard, all right, you're going to basically set it up just like you normally would, multiplayer, male or female, free mode, blah, blah, blah. You know, pick your default face. You want to put a Christmas mask on, so I'm going to be doing the penguin. Your default hair, um, skin will be default as well. Legs, just any joggers. I'm going to do the white joggers, but any joggers will do. We want to put uh, no bag on this one, and then just the deadline white shoes as well. Doesn't really matter. And then torso, these ones are important. We're going to be doing the strength, okay, the vest under torso one. Armor, we can just put any crew armor that we want, so we can put the white. And then under the logos, this is where you'd put the logos that you want. So the two ones that are very important, obviously, is the logos that you want. So put, I'm going to do the gray. And then your torso one and torso two. Torso two is the sharp white suit. Okay. Um, and then from there, obviously, hats. We can just put whatever we want. So I just put the bulletproof hat on there. So I can go ahead and merge that later if I want to. And that's pretty much it. Glasses we can go blank as well. So all we're doing here in Save Wizard is we're making ourselves a merge outfit. So that when we go from our male to female character, this will give us a merge outfit, which is what we need. Okay. So that's why I said the other components like your vest and your pants and your shoes don't really matter. But put the logos that you want and then also make sure you obviously, um, uh, well we're going to do the belt afterwards, but we're going to put the logos for now. Okay, so the rest of it's going to be fine, but the main thing is those two tops, the torso one, torso two, and we're going to have the logos that we want. Okay, so this will merge over to any of our other outfits. So just like normal, obviously, you'd bring the outfit itself online using your director mode glitch. All right, so I will leave a link down below on how to do the actual DM glitch if you're aware of it. Um, but I'm sure most of you are by now. Okay, so we've got this outfit. We're going to bring it online and then we'll meet you over there. Once we have it online, we are ready to do the gender merge or gender swap glitch. Okay, so outfit transfer glitch, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> So we've got it, we've transferred it online, we have it right here, so now this is our outfit, this is going to be, we'll just name it as Merge, okay? So once we save it, we'll save it as Merge, or whatever you want, but just for easy use, we'll use it as Merge. Alright, so that being said, once we have it actually saved, we can go ahead now and do the gender swap glitch, okay? So I will leave a link down below if you're unfamiliar with that as well, but again, obviously you should be at this point. So now we're over on our female character, right? So we've done the gender swap. We've saved that outfit on our male. We're now on our female. And we want to build this outfit right here for the gun belt. So if you're familiar with how to build the gun belt actual outfit, that's exactly what you're going to do here. So for t-shirts, uh, we're going to put the blue digital t-shirt under the gun running t-shirts on, okay? So blue digital gun running t-shirt. Then we're going to go under work jackets and we're going to put the peach camo closed field jacket okay and so the blue digital shirt actually gives us the gun belt if you want to do paramedic belt you could do that as well and then we want to make sure we have the sport pants the sport uh, spotted muscle pants okay those are our merge pants then from there we're going to go over to the shoes and we're going to put the uh, sneakers pink plain high tops and then all we need from there is the light woodland tactical gloves for the gloves, okay? So we're building a full merge outfit here. Now, once we have that saved, we're going to be doing Crooked Cop on the female character, all right? So what we got here is we want to go ahead and save this just as the gun belt. So we'll go up to the counter, we'll save it on the gun belt, and we just want to save it underneath the other outfit, okay? So once you have it saved underneath the other outfit, I just kind of skipped ahead here, um, you're going to go ahead and launch up that Crooked Cop, okay? So once we're in Crooked Cop, just like normal, we're going to merge those two outfits, all right? So we have the outfit that we created that was in Save Wizard. That's actually going to give us merge components. And now we've got our gun belt component uh, outfit already created. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 
gun belt outfit and merge it with the outfit that we brought in from DM. Okay? So, <laughs> we got an active baby in the background. All right, so once it actually launches up here, it took a while for some reason. We had a bunch of people join. That's probably why somebody was holding us up. But from here, we can go ahead and go to the gun belt and then one over to the merge outfit. And as you can see, well, you can't really see from here. It's kind of hard, but the logos have transferred over. Obviously, the helmet transferred over as well. And that's what we want. So the blue digital is going to give us the actual gun belt. But what we've done now is we've merged those logos from the racing suit onto the jacket okay so from here load in a crooked cop crooked cop just like normal put on your headset and then go ahead and quit the job all right so we're almost there so now once we have that we can go ahead and save it so come on load 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 all right so i'm kind of ahead of the video here but do 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 see there you can go so you can see the logos on the actual back of the jacket now okay so logos have transferred over I've got the helmet there, so if I want to do, you know, create some other bulletproof helmets, I've already got the outfit set up for it or whichever. That's up to you. <laughs> and then, all right, so here we go. Go ahead, quit. We put the headset on. We can quit. And then we're going to spawn back into a public session. From here, we can go over to our ammunition, and we can just save this outfit over top of the other merge outfit that we created, okay? That'll just simplify it so you don't have a bunch of random outfits on here. You can just go ahead and just duplicate this one, or not duplicate, but overwrite this one. All right, so there it is, merge. We're just going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, copy over it. <laughs> and then we can actually go ahead and even delete the gun, gun belt outfit as well. Okay, so we got the merge outfit. We got it saved. We got the logos that we want on there. The blue digital is going to give us the actual um, gun belt and then that's it. Now we can go ahead and do the gender swap glitch once again. So unfortunately we do have to wait that 45 minutes, so I've still got 20 minutes here, but we'll go ahead and obviously speed up through the video, and then we'll be back on the mail. So here we go, back on the mail. So here it is here, the merge outfit. It obviously won't show up because it's all merge components. And then we've got um, my gun belt, that's another old outfit, but the merge outfit's the one that we want, okay? So I'm just going to put a default kind of white outfit on here just to show you that it is actually going to work so I just got some white joggers and a white t-shirt um, and I'm just going to go ahead and transfer it over so I want to save the outfit just below the actual merge outfit before we go into Crooked Cop so whatever outfit you want to put the logos onto and the gun belt onto just save it right below the actual gun belt or merge spot okay so when we go into Crooked Cop, all we're going to do is obviously pick your clothing as player owned and launch it up. Once we launch it up, just like every other Crooked Cop, we should all know this in and out by now, if that is enough, you'll just go ahead and to the outfit and then go once to the right and everything will merge over. So now that spot, you can save it. So I'd recommend saving it like in spot 1 or spot 20. This way it's kind of out of the way and then you can go ahead and any outfits that you create you can just copy them over just like that. So here we go, outfit 16 and merge. So 16 was the new outfit that I created and the merge outfit is the actual merge outfit. So there's my gun belt, got the logos and even the bulletproof helmet on there as well. So everything merged over, all right? So obviously if it's an outfit that can't use the gun belt, that's not gonna work, but the logos will still copy over. But that's more or less a magic spot for any of your outfits. So any new outfits you create, whether it's through the DM trailer or whichever, you can go ahead now and just add those specifically uh, or easily to any other outfits that you have. So now I've got the logos on there, we've got the gun belt, looking pretty sweet, and now we have a magic spot for outfits, all right? So logos and gun belt in one spot, all done. Simple. All right, well, I hope that helped you guys out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. And until the next one, this is your boy SCG. And I'm out.